Yo, what's going on y'all? So today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is something that I've been wanting to dive into for the freaking longest. This is something that I honestly love, man. And it's all about just starting the conversation and just having a conversation. Absolutely love to view people's different points and things. That's why I leave that comment section open and below for anybody to express anything that they feel. Get it off your chest and say it with your chest. You know, all I ask is try to be respectful while you're doing it. All right. Anywho, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So this video is actually an interview and Joe Budden is basically interviewing Kevin Samuels. And I think Kevin Samuels hit a lot of different key points that I honestly wanted to chime in and talk about. And I wanted to hear you guys' perspective as well. All right. So this is basically a longer video of one of the reels that I post. If you guys want to see the entire video, go check out Joe Budden's channel. All right. I think it's like the number one. This is his most viewed video right now. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And you got to be a sexual professional. See, if you don't have all those things, you're not high value. You're yeah. not quality. And that's what my show is kind of showing. It's, it's let women say what's on their mind. Mm -hmm. He does. He asks that's a series of questions. I just let you say what's mm -hmm. on your and mind. And they answer them. And then, based on your answers, he assesses the data that you've given him via his questions. I don't know why they fall for some of them questions. Because they're speaking. If ever, because if they if don't you've, see if it. you've ever seen them. No, no, no. But, that, uh, but again, before they get tripped up. Wait, wait, wait. He said, I don't know why they fall for some of them questions. Uh, so Kevin Samuels was actually doing this, uh, I believe, at least from what I've seen, over a year. I know he did start with men, but he had been shooting videos and stuff like this for over a year before people really started to, to catch on. And he started to really getting views and stuff like that. It was like a year. And he pretty much goes on there. He asks people the exact same questions. At the end of the day, this man is an image consultant. He's going to ask for information from you, all right? And he's going to take whatever information you give him, assess, and then he's going to give you his professional opinion. They think they're, they hold some, I'm going to get him, I'm going to teach him. Ma'am, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Ma'am, he, yeah. ma he don't, and, and to all the people that says he's harsh and brash, I've seen enough of him where he starts off the interview. Give me an answer. Absolutely. Respectful. I reflect what I get back. Exactly. Ma'am, 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 please stop cutting me off. Ma'am, you call my platform to get advice. Let me advise you. A lot of the things. And when he says something that they 40? don't want to hear. Anybody in over 40? Yes, me. Okay. Um, ah, you like that. I'm still go sad. back. <laughs> Go back to when you were 10 years old. I want you to think, imagine a 20-year-old woman speaking to a 50-year-old man. You wouldn't hear the tone, the, the, the way that's in true. which I see many 20-year-old women that's approach true. a man that... People, period. No, no, in particular, co calling in my show, talking to me like I'm your age. Bruh, oh, this is, this is insane, man. The way that I grew up, while I was in Rock Hill, South Carolina is you never disrespect your elders period i don't give i don't care what they say if you don't agree with them you don't agree with them you don't open your mouth and be disrespectful to your elders you just don't do it if you say something i don't agree with i don't have to get sassy i don't have to you know bad mouth and do all of this extra stuff and i was just taught something completely different man i will never ever disrespect one of my elders my mom my dad my sister my brother even my i have a cousin that's like three or four years older than me, and I still call her ma'am. It's just a respect thing, man. I don't, I don't know what the heck is going on with this generation. Anyway, let's get back to it. I'm like, well, so there is no, with some, with far too many women, there is no level of credibility a man has where he can't be checked. See, one of the things is what you tend to hear more often than anything else is, why'd you go on his show, girl? If that was me, I'd have cussed him out. See, there's a problem. Women are, we're allowed, we've allowed one-way violence in our community for far too long. One-way aggression. See, all of these men in this room know that there are lines that we can't cross because fuck this podcast. We're going to have to go handle business outside. For real. Facts. Hey, hey, mo hey, guys, we just know, man. We, ab we absolutely, we know that. Like, bro, if you be disrespectful to me, and we face to face, like it's a lot of people, you know, they may be with the rah-rah and stuff under the comments on social media, the whole nine. But again, face to face, guys know, man, there's a line that you do not cross. If you cross that line, then it's over for you. 
You know what I'm saying? You risk that chance of getting punched in your face. It's as simple as that. Guys understand this. Between all men, women don't have that. So they can say whatever, do whatever, be as foul as they want to because it's like, so let me get this right. You would have went into that man's place of business and cussed him out as if you could do something. And if they he decided, can, you know, with no recourse. Because they assume, because if you touch me, then I'm going to call somebody, which is who? The police. Which is a, a man. man. Yeah. A, a man, and it's typically, it's typically not, and it's typically you're not expecting, when you think about who's going to. Pause that right there. Man, yo, that is freaking insane man a lot of women that come from a single parent household a lot of women that didn't grow up around that strong father figure that really understood me and how men operate so it's so crazy man like if i'm being honest if i think about maybe 60 to 70 percent of the women that i encounter most of them are with that one-way violence type of thing i see it so much on facebook like the women, the things that they share, you know, how they talk to a man, talk to their man. And it's pretty much one way violence where they have no respect for that man, even though it could be a man that could snap them in half if they wanted to. But the fact that they know that, you know, again, if you touch me, then I'm going to call somebody. I'm going to call, I'm going to call the police or, you know, I'm going to call Ray Ray and they're going to, instead of just being respectful. It converts back to modern day women. And unfortunately, it's a lot of single mothers out there that are raising children this way. Let me just say this, man. Uh, when I think about 60 to 70% of the women today, and this is just, you know, me looking at, you know, Facebook, what I see, you know, walking out the house every day, having conversations and stuff from different men and women you know, different relationships, where, wherever they are in life, whether they've been married for 10, 15 years, they've been boyfriend, girlfriend for the last decade or, or 10 days, 60 to 70% of the women that I've seen seems like they operate this way, where it's just one way violence. And I'm gonna just say this, man, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna get up out of here. And I'm gonna let you guys, you know, feel free to comment down below about this. But this type of mess needs to stop, man. One thing that we need to do is we need to, first and foremost, we need to respect each other. Like, uh, oh boy, I'm not sure, I'm not exactly sure what his name is, but like he said, when people come onto his channel, he's respectful. Hey, how are you doing? What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How old are you? I am 37. All right. What's the, what's the, what is the question or the comment? Uh, and then they get on with the conversation. And then if you give him a certain type of energy or you don't want to take accountability for your actions, then the conversation is going to shift a little bit. But for the most part, every single last video that I have seen, and again, you guys feel free. I've been having so many people send videos and stuff to my Instagram, Katie Production INC. If you guys have seen an entire video, not just a clip, but an entire video where he doesn't start off being respectful. I have not seen a video yet. Not to this day. I've seen a lot of his videos, a lot of his content. I have not seen one video yet of him being disrespectful as soon as somebody comes onto his platform. Not seen it, not once. And that's between men, women, black women, Asian women, black men, Asian men, the whole, everybody across the board. When you come on his show, he's being respectful. Hey, how you doing? You know, I'm Kevin Samuels, blah, blah, blah. What's your name? Blah, blah. And then you get on with the conversation. But again, if you are disrespectful, and if you're not going to take accountability for your actions, the conversation then will shift. He was doing this day in and day out, night after night, and patience. Let me tell you something. He still had he still had the patience of a saint to me. He ain't lying. Basically, what this clip was about was basically just saying, you know, this generation operates completely different you know, to how things used to be. Not saying that everything that they did back in the day was okay, but we should be able to at least agree on that. You come on to anybody's show and they're just asking you questions, they're being respectful, and they're asking the exact same questions, for the most part, that they ask everyone else. And again, you are in your 20s and this man is twice your age. If we can't at least agree that you should at least be respectful 
while you're on this platform, then, yo, man, what, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Come on, man. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, guys. This is actually my birthday, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my birthday. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, Burberry, Butterna. Tan skin, mixed race, Buttercup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work. She hit my phone. She wanna. Whoa.